That's just the main meal deal, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. You'd be forgiven for thinking this is like any other school canteen, but in fact, this is the head teacher behind the till. Often, she simply can't afford the staff. And it's not just here, other departments are feeling the squeeze. And if I take you into the science room and show you that in here, we have got students who are working three or four to a group. So it's about £160 to £2 per pupil per head per year. And from that, the head of science has to decide what she's going to buy. So some of the equipment that we use, like this, today, this lesson, the students can do the practical, but the students next door can't. What are, what are the most extreme kind of things, the situations you found yourself in because um, of a lack of funding? Well, when we haven't been able to employ or we haven't had the funds to employ cleaners, I will clean the toilets. How does this make you feel personally? I'm just really cross. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not cross. I'm absolutely angry about it. I also feel incredibly embarrassed that I'm standing in front of you telling you I don't have any money, but it's not in my embarrassment. You know, I'm really sad that I can't provide for the students within my care. In the sixth form study room, students tell me they've noticed the purse strings are tightening. I chose to do art. But due to lack of science and textiles, the classes had to be combined because it were, wasn't financially available to do two separate classes. But then that meant that, for example, doing some of the lessons, you might have a textiles teacher in for an art lesson. Because that one lesson that you might need that help, the right teacher might not be there. This school has managed to stay afloat and build new facilities by selling some of its land to a nearby property developer. But others across the country don't have that luxury. Some say they're struggling so much they might have to shorten the school week. The Department for Education says funding is at its highest ever level, nearly 44 billion, compared to spending of just over 30 billion eight years ago. But teachers say what matters is spending per pupil. Analysis shows that has actually fallen by 8% since 2010. The government insists there is more money. We are asking schools to do more, and we know they've had to absorb costs such as higher national insurance contributions, higher teachers' pension contributions, but we are spending record amounts uh, on our schools. And in this year and the next financial year, we are giving every local authority more money for every pupil in every school. So you're gonna add but with pupil numbers rising, head teachers are not backing down as they continue to fill their funding gaps. Frankie McCamley, BBC News.